y'all, it's Summer Terry from the Association of Certified Equine Therapies and from Superior Therapy LLC. And we are excited to announce our partnership with Dan Markham, and he is the creator and founder of Equine Flexion Therapy. And so he's got a really great course that has some amazing content on doing body work, detecting pain in your horse, and also being able to correct spinal alignment issues. And the awesome thing about his course is it's something that's simple enough that the average horse owner can take and learn a lot from and be able to maintain and help their horses perform better themselves. But it's also something that, you know, body workers like me, even people that have been in the industry a long time can still learn from and also, you know, just have one more tool to put in your therapy toolbox to be able to help horses and further yourself as well. Yeah. Well, equine flexion therapy is a system by uh, which we can uh, check the horse and be able to uh, treat the horse in different ways and stretch it and uh, realign the spine through massage therapy and deep motion flexion. Okay. And so we've got Bones here with us and, you know, he's hanging out for more than just a decoration because Dan uses him to be able to, one, explain kind of the alignment process and how, I guess, how to be able to detect the points on there. Kind of, kind of give us the overview of what you use Bones for. Okay, well, uh, first of all, I mean, I, I look at it and show them where the neck is, the cervicals, and, mm -hmm. and then uh, the thoracics and the ribs, and of course, Bones, had, he, we had to do a little bit of work on him because he didn't come this way. So we had to shorten him up a little bit and add a little bit. But uh, it, I show the uh, uh, lumbars here and the hips and the sacrum. And, and then we come back and, and I show them on the spine where the muscle stretch points are at so that we have a uh, point at which we can test it. So whenever you talk about the points, that's a system that you put together yourself, correct? Well, basically, I mean, I've, I've done research on it and I've used other things in it also, but yes, this is what I come up with. I changed a lot of things. One of the things that I changed is uh, most, like if, you, uh, if you're checking uh, by most of the massage uh, courses, they always start from the head. I start from here because if I start with the head over here, then, uh, and, and they're real sore, they're gonna be jerking around and that's gonna cause problems with the rest of the horse when I go to check it. Well, and I feel like that makes sense though too because when we talk about approaching a horse at a neutral point, this is, this is your area of neutral. So this and is how you're safely gonna approach a horse and it's gonna be the least threatening to them. It's least threatening to them and then when we end up uh, start to work on them, they get uh, endorphin releases and everything in here, and by the time I get back to the back end, then it's not as so, so threatening to the horse, and, and they've got some uh, endorphins, which is a natural painkiller, and it just allows, uh, the horse allows us to work on him a whole lot easier. Then when I go back around and I come clear up to the head, then we have a whole lot less problem. Which makes sense because that's how I do working on humans. You know, typically I kind of start with the back and the shoulders because like you said, you get that endorphin release, but also I kind of save the neck and the head for a little bit later after I've kind of promoted a sense of relaxation in the body because I feel like that relaxation is important as well. And uh, you know, the horse, the, the spine is so much like a human. I mean, we have cervicals, we have thoracics and ribs and lumbars and sacrum. There's and uh, we all have seven, all animals have seven cervicals, but we even, have even giraffes, even yeah. something that has such a long neck. Yeah. It, it's amazing. You know, I mean, God really did work when he set sure. this all up. So talk to us a little bit about, um, going back to the course information. Okay. So, you know, we're going to start with bones and bones is going to help teach the theory. And then you go out into the barn and your course takers are actually going to work on either their own horse that they brought or a horse that the facility is going to provide. So when you come take it here at Superior Therapy, we typically have a lot of horses in the barn that, you know, need, need this type of work. And so they're also going to be great to learn from. Yes. Well, uh, 
I use bones here, uh, we do uh, different things. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is a visual test, and I can use uh, bones. Of course, he doesn't have any muscles on. We can't. We <laughs> cannot see the muscles part here because we'll be looking for atrophy. But we can. We're also looking for uh, leg lengths and high low problems and so forth. And and uh, then I teach about. Uh, uh, the, the neck and, and all, all the way back to the, the, the spine so that they have an idea of what they're doing. So Before they ever all, get out to a real horse. Yeah. So first thing we do is we're going to look at the horse. And that's, you know, after I explain this, then we go back and we go over it, over it, and over it, because I have a, a thing that I call EFT in this order. And so that we don't miss anything. First thing is visual. We're going to ask. We also ask the customer about, or, or uh, whoever brings the horse, we're gonna ask them uh, what is wrong, what they think is wrong with their horse, or, mm -hmm. or the symptoms, more or less. Okay. And uh, then after we do the visual and ask, then we, uh, we'll check the spine uh, by uh, range of motion on the neck, and then everything else is going to be by palpation all the way down the spine, uh, okay. all the way into the hips and shoulders and, and so forth. After we get done with that, then we go through all of the points where the muscles, uh, the stress points. Now the stress points is, a, is the place on the muscle where it is going to be injured most likely. Okay. That's the tight muscles and toe. And most of the time it's in the belly of the muscle, sometimes it's not might be in other places. But we go through all that and we learn where all these places are that they're sore, and then we go ahead and treat uh, the muscles. And then the, the last part is to stretch them back into alignment. Okay, awesome. Well, um, so yeah, the, there's kind of the overview of the course and I feel like, you know, it's kind of a lot of years of knowledge that you've put together and we really appreciate you partnering with mm -hmm. us and offering this course to our people because I think they're really, really going to appreciate it and I think we're going to be able to help a lot of horses. Yes, I think so. And there, we've gone into uh, uh, a lot of research and a lot of experience behind it and different things that's happened and so, uh, and I try to bring out all those things in the course too to mm -hmm. give every advantage to the people that take the course because what we want to do is we want the people to take the course to know as much as they can. For sure. No, I think so. And so, again, with these courses, we're going to start listing all of the available dates on learningquinetherapy.com. You can also find them on our Facebook page, the Association of Certified Equine Therapies, as well as Dan's Facebook page, which is Equine Flexion Therapy. So we threw a lot of things at you, but we promise we're going to have all of our social media linked together so that we're easy to find. Happy trails, y'all.